Uh, and joining us now is New York Republican Congressman Anthony Desposito. Uh, Congressman, what do you think? Should you do it out on the floor and, you know, embarrass the Republican conference again as it was just with 15 rounds initially to get Kevin yeah, McCarthy in? Well, first, thanks for having me. I don't think anybody uh, in this country wants to see us go another 15 rounds to decide who the Speaker of the House is going to be. But I have to disagree with, uh, with the last guest in saying that um, moderates don't defend themselves, don't stick up for themselves. I think we've had a, a clear over the last 10 months. Uh, I'll just speak for the, the moderates that represent Long Island with me, uh, minus the Santos from the third congressional district. I mean, we've been a voice for moderates. We've uh, voted outside of our party lines. We've made it very clear, uh, especially over the last week, how important uh, the values here on Long Island, here in New York, uh, how much they matter to this race. Do you expect there to be a vote, in the conference at least, some kind of vote to test the strength of Jim Jordan this afternoon? That's what we are told. We're told that uh, at 1 o'clock we're going to go into a uh, candidate forum that was only announced just uh, probably within the half hour. Uh, so anybody who is interested in throwing their name in the hat uh, has to be prepared and ready uh, by 1 o'clock to uh, present to uh, the conference. And uh, they're saying now that they're scheduling a vote within the conference uh, immediately following that uh, that uh, candidate forum. So, you know, maybe a few hours uh, following 1 o'clock. So we will see how this plays out. I think that there are a lot of questions uh, that members have. I think people are frustrated. People are angry. Um, there needs to be a, uh, a time that we come together and unify. Uh, but I'm just not sure if members are there yet. And uh, I'm certainly not sure if we're, we're near that 217 number. For sure. uh, one quick thing. Is there a candidate mm -hmm. that you would like to see in there? Uh, well, I, I've said from, from day one that uh, I was a supporter of Kevin McCarthy. I think that he had an understanding of my district, and especially New York, and the, and the individuals who played a role in making our majority. Um, but that's what I'm looking for in a candidate, someone who understands, uh, even if they have conservative values, uh, as long as they understand what New York means, what the members of the delegation mean, and, and, and what we need in order to deliver to the communities that sent us here. I mean, some of us represent Biden districts, and, and people sent us to Washington, D.C. to be their voice uh, because they wanted change and they weren't happy with how Democrats were representing them. I want a speaker who's going to understand what we need and what the people of my district need so that we can deliver for them.